this sweater like forever ago. You're even gonna see in the video like me watching the follow like live stream from however long ago that was. But I just haven't been able to put this video together until now because I like moved in between doing all that. And like even now I've already seen 17 in Oakland just like last week. So it's been a very long time since I've made this, but I had people on TikTok when I posted me making it say they kind of wanted a tutorial for it, but this isn't the best tutorial. So hopefully <laughs> you'll be able to follow along even though I'm not like saying exactly how I make it. I'm just kind of saying like what stitches I did or like the process of me making each panel and each sleeve. So hopefully this is helpful even though it's not like exactly a tutorial. I'm starting with the back and I'm just making it as long as his cardigan looks. So I'm gonna start with like the brown, yellow, orange striped section. And I've just chained enough that like goes down to my waist, a little past my waist because it looks like it's pretty long on him. And the picture I have of the back of the cardigan is so blurry that I can't tell what kind of stitch it is, so I'm just going with a double crochet. I literally got like halfway done with the back and realized that all of this was supposed to be in the granny stitch. So I just went and looked back at the pictures. I've been looking at the really blurry picture the whole time to just get like the stripe colors correct. But I went and looked at one of the high def pictures I have of it and it's supposed to be the granny stitch the whole way. And I'm not redoing this part, so I'm just gonna start the granny stitch where like the granny square part starts. So at least those look right. But this, I'm just gonna keep like this because I don't wanna take it apart. Since I'm kind of just making this up as I go, this isn't really a tutorial, but I will just, I'll talk through how I made each panel real quick. So for the back, I just did this, these stripes. These are all just double crochet. And again, looking at the picture, I tried to make it as close to what colors are on his as possible, but I wasn't able to find like the exact colors of some of them. So from this brown all the way to this red, I just did double crochet for all of it. I know in the pictures, the orange and the yellows, I think are granny stitch, but I didn't realize that until it was too late. So this is what I've got for that. And then for the other half of the, for the other half of the back was like the granny square section. So I just made, this was just two rows of granny stitch for these. And then a row of the, or two rows of the orange in the double crochet again. And then I made granny squares for the rest of it. And then I just attached them all by sewing them all together with orange because that looks like how his are connected. And I know on some of these white ones, there needs to be like flowers, I think. There's like green and red flowers on some of the white ones. I just haven't gotten around to making those yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna make flowers and then sew them on. Or I should have probably like how these four line up. I should have made like green and then red to make them look like flowers. But this is like the lazy version of his sweater. Here is the other front panel. This one is a little wonky looking, as you can see it like bows out right here because his has like a bunch of different colored, like mixed colored yarn, I think. I don't have any of that. So I was just mixing, I was like double stranding like black and green for this one or like black and pink for this stripe. And so obviously this stripe where I was doing like three different colors, it was a lot thicker <laughs> than these other ones. So that's why it like bows out a little bit, but Again, I'm making this for me, so I don't really mind, but I would just keep that in mind if you're gonna make it for yourself and you want it to look more presentable than what I've made. Here is the other, these are not the exact colors of his. So many of the pictures I found were super blurry. So this is just the closest I'm guessing to what it is. I'll just show you what the colors were that I used in case you wanted to recreate it based off the one I'm making. 
And then I just know in the pictures, all I could remember seeing clearly was that it ended in a blue stripe. So I got that down at least. I've started the second front panel and honestly the pictures again I found are just not the best. So I couldn't really tell exactly what's going on. But I think it has like two rows with a pattern of cream, brown, cream, this like dark pink color, maroon color, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to do that for two rows and then there's like a zigzag cream row after that that I'll have to figure out. Here is one side, or one front panel. This one was another tricky one and this is again the lazy way because the white double crochet stripes I did, they're supposed to be in like a zigzag pattern, which I tried, but I just kept messing it up. So again, I took it apart and I just started making them in stripes again. So to start off with, it's like this checkered pattern where I did like four of each, four double crochets of each color. So I started out with like cream and then pink cream brown cream pink cream brown all the way down and i did that for three rows and then i did a row of the pink in a granny stitch and then i did four rows of double crochet and then followed by a granny stitch row and no again this isn't a tutorial but hopefully this will just help you visualize it if you're gonna try to make it on your own. Cause honestly, again, I just made this up as I was going. So it's not like I, I didn't really write anything down on how I did any of it. I literally just free handed all of this. So I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully at least seeing like the stitches I did help. I honestly think I made it way too wide. So I'm gonna just frog it even though i've literally been working on this all day just to make it a little bit skinnier because i feel like it's just too wide right now as is so i'm just going to take a couple stitches off and hopefully it'll look a bit better and then also when i redo it do less in the stripes so that i can have the same number of stripes that are on his before it gets to the little fringe at the bottom Here's what the sleeve is looking like so far. I actually still can't tell what the sleeve, like the stitch for the sleeve is. It looks almost like knit, but I'm not really sure. And also this is like the lazy person's Sun Quan cardigan. So I'm taking all of the shortcuts. <laughs> so I just did double crochet stripes and I'm gonna just maybe like weave yellow in through the colored stripes to make it look like his sleeve because I have no clue what that stitch is. Also, this might look a little short, so I might need to add a couple more stripes to it, or it does drop really low on my shoulder, so the sleeve might not need to be that long. I'm gonna start on the purple and white sleeve now, and every time I've tried to do like the chevron stitch, it always turns out awful, so I'm watching a tutorial that'll hopefully help and I can make this sleeve at least look like his. Here's what's looking like so far. This is normally as far as I get before I start messing up, so let's hope the next row isn't that bad. I started my second row and it's not looking too bad yet, so let's hope that it keeps going like this. Here's what it's looking like so far. It still has like the chevron shape, so that's good. I think I finally figured out how to actually do it. And for the stripes, I did the first stripe five rows, and then I changed my color to white, and I'll do five rows of that, and so on and so forth until I have the length I want. Here's the finished second sleeve. I'm gonna sew them both on now to see if I need to add any rows to it. Also on this one, I noticed in the picture he has like a little fringe at the end of the sleeve, but I ran out of this brown. So once I'm able to get more of that, I'll add that later.
yeah they seem long enough the arm seems like a pretty good length so I'm just gonna keep them like that um.